All right, guys, so here's our little review on the River to Sea Tungsten Vibe or the Tungsten Vibration. Here, actually, on their, on their package, they call it the Tungsten Vibration and the Tungsten Vibe. So I don't know which one to call it. We'll just call it the Tungsten Vibe because that's what they call it on their website as well and on Tackle Warehouse and stuff. So um, actually on the bottom of the crankbait it says Tungsten Vib, it says Tungsten V-I-B. So I don't know what to call this crankbait. Tung tungsten Vibe sounds good to me. So anyway, I uh, had a chance to fish with it last week. Caught a couple things to go over. There's There were some things that I liked about the crankbait and then there were some things that were kind of concerning to me and I'll go over those for you right now. Okay guys, so the River to Sea Tungsten Vibe. It comes in three different sizes. Uh, you go to their website, they have a 50, a 60, and a 70. This one is the 70, so it's the, the largest of the bunch according to their website. Um, but the smaller one is the 50, and that one has a length of two inches, a weight of a quarter of an ounce, and a variable diving depth sinking lure. And then you jump up to the 60, which is the middle size, and that one has a length of two and three eighths inches, a weight of three eighths of an ounce, variable diving depth sinking lure. And then the large one, which is the 70 here, has a length of two and three quarter inches, a weight of nine sixteenths of an ounce, uh, variable diving depth sinking lure. Go ahead and give this thing a measurement for you guys. Measuring from the back ring all the way to the nose of it. It says it's about two and three quarter inches, which is exactly what they're claiming. So has some consistency there. Uh, it is a little bit larger of a crankbait, especially when you um, show it up against like the XR50. Uh, the XR50 does look a little bit smaller, especially in uh, height this way. So, and it's also slightly thinner. You can't really tell how much thinner it is here, but the overall crankbait is just, it's just a fatter crankbait altogether. Like I said, you can't really tell that well, maybe because of these brighter colors. You can see that, that on the XR50 it kind of tapers down into a, a, thinner bill, a thinner belly, I guess, but on this one it just kind of stays fat all together. So the tungsten vibe, as the name suggests, it has some tungsten in it. Just like the Jack All TN, here's the Jack All TN, it has the, the tungsten lips or the tungsten mouth on it. This one kind of has that same idea where it has the tungsten on the front of it. This one's kind of wrapped up around the side of it on both sides, but uh, that, that's tungsten right there. And instead of it being uh, a chunk lead ball or a chunk lead weight inside the front to kind of help weight it, they have the, the tungsten on the exterior of the bait. Um, I think that the, they, they don't say this on the website, but this one will stand up on its nose like that where um, I think that there was a couple other lipless crankbaits that I did that claim that they stand up on their nose really well when they hit the bottom. Um, this one I, su I suppose could do that one, do that as well. It does have uh, a real flat spot on, on the mouth there where it seems like it could definitely stand up like that on its own. Uh, I really like the, the rattling system in it. It's got two chambers for, for rattles. It looks like it has uh, glass or plastic in this chamber up here. And then you have steel down here. There's only maybe four or five steel ones up down here. And then there's like 10 or 12 glass ones up here on the top. So, and the, the bait is actually, the things that I like about it, like the rattling system, here's the, the rattle. A little bit of that higher pitch frequency compared to the, the XR50. They're about the same level, um, but the XR50 being maybe slightly louder. But the, the, tungsten, the tungsten vibe has just a little bit higher of a pitch and just slightly quieter. But the other things I like, like I like the that River to Sea puts these Daiichi hooks on their on their crankbaits. They just they seem to be really strong and uh, they have worked really well for me in, in the past. I haven't had to replace them or anything. And uh, just looking at them, they they do seem like they're a very thick hook, so you have a lot of confidence in that hook. Um, it's got a circle split ring on the top. We'd like to see an oval split ring on the top, and we all know why it has the features that you would expect from a, a crankbait in this price range of ten dollars it has the the etch scale patterns raised gill plate three-dimensional holographic eyes and the, those holographic eyes are those ones that you're seeing on a lot of other crankbaits in fact this is the river to sea this the ones that i got don't have those river to sea logo eyes in them which is something that i really appreciate because i like these eyes a lot better and i kind of wish that river to sea would just stay with these eyes because kind of creates that that better feel to the crankbait um 
not feel in the tangible way, but feel in the in the sense of it has a it just has a better overall look to the crankbait. So see if we can get a better close up of the crankbait for you guys. You can get a see see what it looks like. Now the the concerning parts of this crankbait that I had were number one first and foremost was the vibration. It of all the crankbaits that I tested, this one probably had the least amount of vibration in the water. You threw it out there. Um, it just felt like it was almost fouled up every time. You can definitely feel the crankbait on the end, but it just normally with the lipless crankbait, you can feel that vibration very, very well. And that vibration is something that you could use as a tool to let you know if you're getting hung up in weeds or if you're getting hung up in on mud or sticks or whatever else that you decide to fish a lipless crankbait in. And this kind of just feels like it's almost always like that. There isn't a lot of vibration to be had there. So... The fact that they call it a tungsten vibe, uh, I thought was interesting because it just doesn't have a lot of vibration. But the nature of a lipless crankbait is rattles and vibration, and this one just didn't have the vibration. It has a nice rattle sound, but it just for for me it didn't have the vibration. But uh, I know a lot of people have had good success with this crankbait, so take what I have to say with a grain of salt because um, that was just my experience with it. Now. As far as the retrieve, um, there was there was a little bit of a listing action on a on a fast retrieve, meaning that it would it would start to turn to its side as it as it came forward in the in the water. But I, I felt like it needed a slow to medium retrieve uh, to kind of keep that thing in in the right position as it comes through the water. So again, that's a lot of crankbaits have their have their butter zone so you need to you need to find out what they are and this one doesn't seem to be uh that well in a fast retrieve but that's okay i mean so there's a lot of crankbaits out there that don't work with a with a fast retrieve so that's fine this crankbait also does fall as you would expect with that really uh dense tungsten lip on there you would expect it to fall in that nose down position and that's exactly what it does it doesn't fall extremely quick which is something that's nice it does have a moderate fall rate but it does fall in a nose down fashion which for some people that's that's very very desirable uh, we'll go over these colors here this first one we have is called delta crawl and delta crawl the overall look of it is just kind of flat there isn't a lot of glossiness to it at all and the crankbait itself actually feels, it almost feels soft. It's not soft by by any means, but it does feel like it's almost soft. And that probably just has to do with the, the, the flat finish of the crankbait. But it's got a flat black on the on the top, flat red with that, that crawdad kind of, kind of pattern or finish on the side of it. There you can see it says river to sea. says river to sea tungsten vib 70 so i don't know why they put that vib on there I, I would assume that that might be just a typo or something but nevertheless here is delta craw This next one we have is kind of a sexy shad pattern. This is called chartreuse shad. It's got that darker blue scale pattern on the back to go in conjunction with the, the etch scale pattern that's in it. And that's something that you, that you would assume that would come from a sexy shad or a chartreuse shad pattern. Uh, it's got the, the ear on the back of the gill plate there and a very faint chartreuse line. And it's actually showing up pretty true on the video here. Uh, it's got a pearl belly, and the overall bait is just kind of transparent. So there is chartreuse shad. Another thing that I notice about this crankbait is if you look at the the eyes on them this one has the the glossy three-dimensional holographic eye and this one is a, a flat three-dimensional eye on there and they do look like those those boss 3d eyes that you can find on tackle warehouse they look very similar to those if not the if not the same or they probably are those so but 
you can see it just kind of adds to the overall flat feel of this crankbait where this one's just kind of glossy all over. So anyway, the River to Sea Tungsten Vibe. It's a nice fit and finish crankbait. There was some stuff to be desired for the vibration, but uh, it's a nice crankbait if you guys want to check it out. I know that there are some people that have had some success with this crankbait, so, um, so give it a shot if you guys find it. If you guys like the video, hit the like button down there in the lower left corner. Really appreciate that. And we're going to be moving on to, let's see, we have the Tungsten Vibe, we have the Daiwa Game Vibe, and the Rapala Rattling Wrap next. So we'll move right through those, and then uh, we'll move on to an all completely different genre altogether. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Thanks.